is it? What year is it? 1989. Oh my God. Soviet Armenian rescue workers continue to paint. Americans return to space as discovery clears the tower. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. I will not consume beverage alcohol. Every life we have some trouble. But when you worry, you make it double. Don't worry. My wife we just has to ask for it, and she has every penny I have. Be happy. You call this archaeology? You can call me Joker. Joy slices in against him. In Panama itself today, the government. I will resign. Under pressure in chemistry with cue ball. <laughs> My love life is so active. <laughs> Buku homework and teachers don't seem to understand. I have activities. Guys, put us under pressure. Three sets in one day and two sets of lines from the rhyme. I've had a very long day, but you believe my college applications are very much too. Irritated, annoyed, obnoxious. I get extremely violent. Rude and obnoxious. I get crazy. Try that, cool. I'm under pressure right now. I eat. And I start just snapping at everybody because I just feel so bogged down. Calm, cool, and collected. The only way to be. You know how I usually act. Try to act normal. Tight and rigid and. I thrive under pressure. I go, ah! I let 
let it all build up until the weekend. And then I just sort of deal with it. I get my work done and then I relax. I study all night and then I flunk all my tests, which doesn't help. Okay. Hang out with my harem. <laughs> and I deal with that by coming here to Mr. Hatch's office and having him tell me why I can't get into school. Go out with my friends. I try to stay calm, fair and grinning. does it take to become a wrestler? Mentality?
Zark here, Captain's Log, Stargate 4, 2634. We're on the verge of something fantastic. We're on the verge of some massive partying, dude. The question is with who, with what, and where. We can decide that later, because we've only got one minute. No, 55 seconds until we've reached... The Final Frontier! What am I doing this weekend? I'm partying. Did you study a little bit for exams? Direction, North Brentwood Boulevard. First stop, home of the Whopper. Beam me down, Trip. What a primitive society. Still eating with their mouths. We gave that up 69 mongoons ago. They do, however, appear to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> Problem, unidentified creature spot. From the looks of the hair, it's a professional wrestler or a Klingon. Divine. Divine. Beam me up, Trip. What am I doing this weekend? Oh, I'm sleeping for about 14, 15 hours in a row. Partying. Going to Chicago. We've achieved our second destination. An interesting concept. Viewing a motion picture at home. And as you can see here, I got frantic. Rated R with Harrison Ford. Curious. You seem to flock in pairs. One male, one female. I wonder why they prefer to be alone. How could they possibly entertain themselves for an entire evening? Super Bowl party, my house, Sunday night, yeah. I'm working entirely all weekend. And if you want to see me come down, stake and shake, 1104 South Brentwood, where we put you out every weekend. Next stop, a place where time seems distorted. I recall waiting for what seemed to be an hour for a mere hamburger. I saw no livestock out back, but the waitress insisted that they went to kill the cow first. Earth creatures sure get feisty after eating. These got kicked out after their meal. There must be something in those frozen beverages. Final destination, party at Michael Benjamin Deutsch's Palace. Come on in, dude. We're having a party. Cool classic for all. Oh, not that Klingon again. Julie V. Julie V's here. We're all drinking Coke and water. That's all. Nothing else. Come on in. Follow me. Beat me up, Trip. Zark's Hog, Monday morning. It's been quite a voyage. A voyage of chaotic entertainment. A voyage of unearthly pleasure. Our four-day mission, survive until Friday. Zark, out. This is Claire Lemmy with her 60s outfit of the day on 60s day. Well, I feel it's uh, an important age. It's the uh, age of the great ones, such as Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, uh, Bob Dylan. I got my 60s shirt on. Look. All the ones that really matter. Peace. 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 Make love, not more. Peace. Do we have Hong Kong? 
Loving, 
makes me really mad because it's like, however good I do, he always wants me to do better, and he doesn't understand that I try my hardest, and it feels really hard. Pretty impressed because I've never done well before in my life. My parents think my grades are okay. They think I can do better. I'm very disappointed in you, Catherine. You did not do a good job on this and this and this and this. Good job, but you can do better. They always oh think I can God. do just a little better. Well, my parents pretty much keep their noses out of my grades. Uh, they're pretty pleased. They love them. I uh, don't care. They know I'm working hard and that the outcome is good. The first thing I do is go home and get my report card first, so my mommy won't see it. <laughs> I look at it and then I rip it up. I'm gonna tear it up, then burn it up, and uh, I'll incinerate it some more. And go home get first for my mother to see how good or bad it is. I wait by the mailbox until I get it. Yeah. I go to the mailbox and get it, and I, I don't show it to my parents, no, not this semester, I won't. Um, usually, I, usually I get home with what they do, and I take a peek at it, and if, they, if it's not good, I keep it myself. I have a whole stash of them in my bedroom, but um, they don't know that, so, you know. what the problems might be. Purely awesome. Fantastic. Oh, wonderful. The first important decision, what the show is going to be. The second toughest decision, I guess, is actually the casting of the show. What I liked most about my part was it was challenging and I felt like at all times I had to be on my toes and have a lot of energy. Hello, Sarah. Try to make sure that you have the best people in the best situations, the best roles for them. And I could totally mess up any dance or any anything except my lines, of course. And all I had to do was go, and it was all right. I didn't, it didn't matter. I could, I could also be somewhat of a spaz, not quite to the same extent. I enjoyed it because I, I was on stage a lot and I, and I had a great time with it. It was just fun. I'm sure we'll have lots to talk about. I'll see you later. Hola, chin chao, arigato. I don't know, but I think it's downstairs. It was very exciting. Ready, one, two, start. Hop, hop, the heaven, hop. Do the heaven hop, do the heaven hop, do the heaven hop, do the heaven hop, do the heaven hop.
And I think the main challenge is taking that many kids and turning them into, from every amount of talent, into a group that can sing well. Here we are, the night of the ship in the moonlight. Doesn't that mean anything to you? It was a different part than I'd ever played before. It was, well, kind of strange. One look at you and I in hot pants. Too really? What do you mean to buy you when you go I had never appeared in my underwear before. That was kind of interesting. And uh, I've always liked doing really bizarre things, especially in front of lots of people. It's just one of those things I like. I think that tap dance, in many ways, was, was almost symbolic of the highlight of the show because when everyone came together doing more than what perhaps they thought they could when we started, I think that's what made the show work as much as anything else. you have just up there with the lights right on you, you know that you're bringing down a house with that number. Okay. We had a great time and the show came out oh, was awesome. And I'm pleased because it is a true chorus show, I think perhaps more than any other. We gave greater numbers of people greater numbers of opportunities. I think the one thing that set this pit, year's pit orchestra aside from any others that we've had was the amount of commitment on the part of the kids playing in. It's something I'll always remember and be able to tell my kids about. Cal is always really interesting to work with in many different situations, so I like that. You're talking about the anger. <laughs> We will not leave until I am satisfied. Simple as. I, I, I think it's a motivational device, but I don't want to suggest that uh, it's all contrived. I think the best part of it is, is uh, the friendships in the cast, um, especially Brad Downer. <laughs> but I like Jim Levy too. <laughs> I'm extremely pleased with the show. I mean, bullion with the show. I understand one of them is dressed up like a preacher. I think the overall production was perhaps one of the smoothest and one of the best shows that we've ever seen here. I thought it was a lot of fun. I always have fun doing them. I'm as proud of that show as I am any that we have done, and maybe in some ways more proud of it. girl to dance, I always feel scary, kind of scary. Well, depending on the girl, sometimes I feel nervous. I usually feel excited, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a little nervous, a little shaky, but after it's through, I'm, I'm fine, I'm great. Okay. If you walk up to the woman, you just say, babe, you want to go to dance with me? <laughs> Being rejected feels horrible. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you turn him down nicely and easily. You don't get rejected. Bottom line. Yeah, I, I said I'd get back to you another time and then I never got back to him. <laughs> you want to let the person down nicely that you don't want to go, but most of the times you wind up going just to make the person feel good. Maybe go out there for a dance and then you say thanks, babe. No more. The social characteristic of Clayton High School is the is the freedom. No way! Go down in the cabins. Alice, Alice, I love Alice. What, what are the plans for Jason Mario's next year? Oh, you don't want to know.
Bye, Clayton. that our class contains the best actors in the state of Missouri for 1989. It makes me feel good to say that we're sending students to Stanford and MIT, but this class is not through winning yet. Thank you. To say that the members of the class of 1989 are extraordinary is just not adequate. Why? Two, three.